Today the Holy Spirit has given us a theme or message saying that I will get a njaku genda. Let us pray. Abba Father, you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. With all our hearts, we praise you, we glorify you, and we magnify your name. Our oh, dearest El Shaddai, we call upon your Holy Spirit to come and guide us in your word. Because your word is the only truth and life. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Dear ladies and gentlemen, our theme is all about I will go a Jakugenda. For the person to decide I will go, there must be a certain message he or she has been sent to deliver. And there must be a mission when it's very important. When a human being disobeyed God and fall, they gathered a meeting in heaven. And the question was, who will risk a human being? They are talking about human being who was created in image. The one God created with his hands and put life into him. Then he saw that it was very good. But the thing that they loved the most was about to fall and to get destroyed. Then Jesus I said Jesus in the humble way, in the brave way, with a lot of love. He said, I will Jaku gain them. Indeed, Jesus came and everything he did is known. He spent all of his time in his father's mission when he's teaching. Preaching, healing the sick, and taking care of his father's people. Let's read it in Luke 19.10. That's where we find Jesus' important job. Let somebody read for us, please. Luke 19, verse, Luke chapter 19, verse 10, it says, For the man of son has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Thank you so much, sir. He came to seek and to save that which was lost so that he can bring them home. Those ones who are corrupted by Satan when they are walking in Satan's evil ways. Jesus Christ tried a lot to bring them back. That's why Jesus sent in Matthew 28, 19. Let somebody read for us, please. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, sir. The Bible said in all in hospitals, in clubs, insurance, in schools, in jobs and churches. What else can I say? I said in all nations when you are preaching the word of God. Let somebody read for us in the natural. Matthew surabi mnana onire kumino mwenda. Wagamba wewati. Kale mugende, mfule ya mawanga guna abayigirizwa. Ngamu babatiza okuyita muri nyali ya kitafe no mwana no moyo mutukufu wabale nyo sebo echandi kwa shigambye munsi yona masabo mumabala mumakomera mumasomera maraira na makanisa ndyo echinde kechi munsi yona kulire chigambo cha katonda abange yatuma yagenda cha he followed his father's wishes, not his wishes. Even to us, it's a must to do what God wants. Which kind of food did he use to eat? Chapter 6, verse 58. It says that he used to eat the food which comes from heaven. Not as our fathers ate and die, but the one which gives us a life and ever. Even as we should give the people the word of God, that's the food which comes from heaven that brings everlasting life but not destruction. What did Jesus say about brotherhood? He said that everybody who does what God wants, he or she, 
he or she is the one who is his brother, sister, or mother. Do you want to be one of those? Say that I will go. Oh, Jack again. May God bless you as you do what God wants. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you for the word which you have had. Help us so that we can put it into practice. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.